G'day everyone, welcome back to another episode. So we're here in the home workshop again and I want to try and get some more work done on the companionway slides. I've got the nylon strips, I want to try and cut them up and, in, and get them all done. I'm going to give the uh, frame a paint, uh, I'm going to put a white bilge coat on just to make it all look nice and pretty. And then we're going to just finish off that companionway slide. I think we can get a better job, a better finish on it and then try and undercoat that. So let's see how we go. So first up I've got this bit of nylon and uh, we're going to be cutting little strips out of it, 15mm wide. I've already come up with a bit of a plan on my bit of paper here. So that's a companion way slide thickness, 13mm. Um, the blue is the actual um, slide there and it's got that little dam 12mm uh, bar that I welded in. This red is going to be the actual slide running in the slot that I'm going to put in. There's going to be a bit up the top too, and then there's going to be a nylon strip 10mm thick at the top. So, got it all planned out. Uh, just got to make it. So this here is my, it's a bit of a cheap uh, $100 table saw. I will upgrade this at some stage before I start the fit out. But, it works. I'm just going to get that blade to come up. Now because this is cheap and nasty, I, I do have a table saw guide that clips into this slot. But it's not accurate enough, it just doesn't do a good job. So I've got this spirit level here, I've G-clamped it to the table because this is nice and flat and straight. So I'm just going to use that as my guide because it's a little bit more accurate. want that to come down. It's about right. All right, so I've cut out my nylon sticks and I need to put a 10 mil slot in the middle. Would prefer to have done it with a router, but I can't seem to locate that at the moment. So I've set up my bench saw with my fancy guide and this is basically a 10 mil offset. This is 30 mil thick. So if I've got 10 mil in between here, that's going to put a 3 mil cut from 10 mil to 13 mil. So I'm going to move this back another 3 mil. That's going to get that uh, going a 6 millimeter cut. So then I've got another one and a bit cuts to go um, before this will end up being a 3 mil, a 10 mil slot in the middle. And uh, the height of the blade is set at 10 mil. So let's uh, give that a go. Alright, so we've made two little slots. Now we're going to try and take out the middle bit. Alright, my original plan, I was going to have some stainless or brass um, strips go into my little slides here. So, we've basically machined up these little slides. There's a companion way slide, going to do a bag of four. And I just think I might just stick these, I just cut some 10mm uh, uh, marine ply down into some strips. And I might just... Uh, glue and screw them to the underside of this container way. I'll just uh, pop these on here. 
because I was on the assumption that like I was going to have some stainless steel bar and I was going to screw that to the bottom of this and that's never going to wear. Um, I can have that for 30 years and it should be all right. However, I'm a realist and I know that in, you know, 10 years time, I'm going to be pulling this out, probably giving it a new paint job, just checking it over, uh, just do normal maintenance on a boat that everyone has to do. And realistically, if they are worn by then, I could just cut them off and put a new one on. It's not that big a deal. So because I don't really want to go out for a drive to buy some stainless, I'm going to just use some of this uh, wood that I've already got glue that on and it will do the job. Um, I don't need to overkill everything, so I'm gonna start sticking these on. All right, before I glued it all, I just thought I'd uh, nail these on just gently to see if I put it in the tracks and see if it'll uh, slide nicely. Okay, it's in the right spot. Seems like it's good. Not a lot of slop. All right, I've got this all drying over here. I've got all the strips made up. Uh, the next job is I'm gonna cut this board. It's just some scrap I had laying next to my boat. Uh, just into some temporary doors so that we can pull that slide back. And then we've got two doors that can open up and we can put a padlock on the door. Um, just to lock the boat up. So I'm gonna cut that up into a couple of rectangles.
One of the rules down here at my boat club is that all the weeds have to be kept under control so we don't have a large volume of snakes coming through. So I'm gonna give my area a little bit of a trim. These are all just getting a little bit big. Gotta keep everything nice and tidy. So I just wanted a bit of a better finish on this, so we put a little bit more fairing compound on and I'm going to sand that back and give her a coat of undercoat. So we've got a few little jobs done this week. We've got these 20 mil ply cut up um, just as some temporary doors. They've got a bit of undercoat to protect them a little bit more from the weather. We've got our frame all painted on both sides. Unfortunately, it does need another coat and we're running out of time. Uh, the weather's been a bit crap. So we've had, it takes a long time to dry. It's about four to six hour dry time. So uh, it, it only had enough time for the one coat. Uh, once I put a second coat on, I can glue those strips in that we made earlier. Uh, they'll just be glued in with some sticker flex. And we've put an uh, undercoat on the companionway slide, so that's looking really good. Uh, I'm really impressed with how that's come out. I'm not going to paint that white now, uh, because I want to be able to paint that at the same time as I do all the other exterior of the paint. We don't want to paint that now, you buy another batch later and then you get two slightly different shades. Uh, I'm going to paint it all at once so it's all uniform and it looks nice and professional. So we do have that competition that we're going to draw. Uh, we're going to give everyone the full seven days to enter. So if you haven't commented, quickly jump on last week's page and uh, leave a comment. Um, but uh, we're going to release a video in another two days. Um, just going to be a short video. We're going to use an online random generator just to pick the, the comment that uh, wins. We're not going to... Um, I just choose which one we like the most because uh, it's a little bit unfair or biased. So we'll use a random generator to pick a, a winner and then we'll contact them, we'll leave a comment on their post and then uh, we'll try and get in contact with them and we'll send them out a package. Uh, but that's all we got time for this week. So hopefully you enjoyed the couple of little short jobs that I had to do. Um, I didn't get much time on the boat, I just got down there for a little bit of clean up. Um, I, I wanted to make sure that everything's all nice and clean and ready to start afresh for the new year. Uh, but we're back at the boat next week. I'm going to try and fit some of these items and just try and complete that companion way a little bit more. So stay tuned next week for another video. Uh, leave a like and a comment. And uh, if you haven't subscribed, jump on board. We're so close to making that thousand subscribers. It's uh, getting pretty, uh, pretty exciting. So. Let's see everyone next week and hopefully you'll enjoy the video. Thanks guys.